a big win for OU today during the Red River rivalry. The Sooners beat the Texas Longhorns 45 to 40. Two works for you sports anchors Big Al Jerkins and Caden McFarland recap today's game from Texas. Hello, my friends, with Caden McFarlane, Al Jerkins at the Cotton Bowl as Oklahoma gets away with a 45-40 victory. You know, maybe we thought we were going to have a defensive battle in the first half. We <laughs> did, but oh, did that go away in the third quarter? Five touchdowns. In a hurry. I, somebody told me the over-under was, I think they thought, 79, and after right. one quarter, I said, no <laughs> chance we approached that. Over and without much trouble. Uh, nearly 700 yards of offense for OU, whether they wanted to run, whether they wanted to pass did whatever. Two guys responsible for 450 yards. Samaji P. Ryan was something else. 36 carries, 212 yards. D.D. Westbrook had his best day as an Oklahoma Sooner. I'll admit, I was not completely sold on D.D. Westbrook and what he brought to the table. And last week with the two long ones against TCU, I said, well, that's the running game. The running game set that up. This guy can play. His speed is for real. Uh, I know this Texas defense isn't very good, but what we saw from D.D. Westbrook today, he could be a difference maker in this league, no doubt. All right, here's what they had to say after the ball game concerning those two stars. I mean, uh, we've seen on film or whatever, they were, they were pretty good coverage guys, and uh, the main thing was I was just going to have to go out there and compete with them. You know, uh, they, they didn't show much of anything on film um, about them being vulnerable to anything. They were good coverages like we planned and uh, just me going out there and attacking their technique. 10 catches, 232 yards, and three touchdowns. A long of 71. Um, let me see here, 42-yard touchdown pass and 47-yard touchdown pass. I mean, that, that just goes to show that when he's healthy, uh, nobody can compete with his speed. I was really excited to lay, of course, offensively run and pass. I thought Baker was, you know, set a record and was exceptional throwing the football, but Usually who wins this game is who controls the ball and who can run it the best. And, and overall, I felt we did that. Yeah, I just, I think, showed the versatility of, of what our guys can do right now. You know, we had, we had some, some big plays, short drives, and then we had some long ones to chew it up when we needed. And uh, that's what we've said we've always wanted to be able to do. We want to play fast tone, but we always we want to be able to, to slow it down and execute when we need that to win the game. So Oklahoma comes out of the Cotton Bowl with a 3-2 and two record right now, getting set for next week. And they're 2-0 and in conference play, and that has to be a good feeling as well. And the difference between putting on that gold hat and not <laughs> gigantic, right? Uh, Bob Stoops now 11-7 and seven in this game, and people can stop talking about how Charlie Strong has his number. They've won two of three. All right, Samaji P. Ryan never says a whole lot, but that smile with that gold hat on surely made a lot of noise. With Cade McFarlane, Al Jerkins reporting from the Cotton Bowl. Let's send it back to the desk.